Okay, on to Zeta. Okay, so Zeta is only only appears in one situation, which is a jump shift immediately over a positive response to one club. A jump shift over a negative is something else. That's delta, which we've already looked at. So Zeta unilaterally sets the suit as trumps. There's no arguments. It's guaranteed to be a solid suit, but it then asks for controls exactly as if it was beta. So Zeta and beta are effectively the same bid, except that Zeta only appears in one place, and it also sets the suit as trumps at the same time. So one club, one heart, positive response, three diamonds, sets diamonds as trump, and now three spades, the two-step response, shows three controls. One club, one no trump, showing spades, three clubs. Zeta sets clubs as trumps, no arguments. And three no trumps would now show five controls. So, uh, as I'm going to stress in a minute, the one disadvantage to Zeta is that the Zeta bidder, in other words, opener, if he uses Zeta, can never find out, uh, certainly as the system stands at the moment, can never find out uh, what responder's trump holding is. So there's no such thing as a repeat Zeta to try and find out. Um, have toyed with the idea of doing that because if there's been no interference, you would normally or sometimes, certainly in a minor, be able to get a repeat ask in below game level, potentially. But uh, as it stands at the moment, there's no such thing as a repeat Zeta. If you need to ask again about controls, then because Zeta sets the suit as trumps, the normal rules apply. So a relay over the zeta response would be relay beta if it's needed if it's not needed then it would of course be epsilon so for example if you look at that last example supposing it goes one club one no trump three clubs setting clubs as trumps if three clubs gets a response of three diamonds showing naught to two controls then now three hearts would be relay beta. But if it went one club, one no trump, three clubs zeta, three hearts showing three controls, now three spades would be epsilon, not relay beta. So there's a couple of examples that uh, illustrates that. So if if another beta ask is potentially available, in other words, the first, the zeta response showed naught to two controls, and it always would be naught to two controls because zeta effectively is always using the normal scale unless responder is a passed hand, in which case it's using the weak scale. Uh, if it's using the weak scale, then we can't get a range response. If we're using the normal scale, then we can. Okay, special weak scale is never used with Zeta. It's always either the normal scale or the weak scale. It can't be the strong scale. Uh, for obvious reasons. And Zeta, as I said right at the beginning, only occurs after a positive response over one club.
Zeta is actually very rare. And the second half of that first sentence gives you the clue why. Um, you should only be using Zeta on hands where you absolutely couldn't care less what partner's trump holding is or whether they have any trumps at all. If it doesn't matter to you whether they have a void in your trump suit or three small or five small for that matter, if it doesn't matter, then that's fine. That's po possibly a good hand for Zeta. But for example, if you have um, a second four card suit, maybe ace, king and two small cards outside of your trump suit, then that's not a good hand to use Zeta on because you might need to start roughing cards in your four card suit. So actually it does matter to you whether partner has some trumps or not, potentially. So the, the hands that really qualify for Zeta are actually pretty few and far between. Um, they're normally hands where, firstly, opener is incredibly strong. But also, it's going to be very easy for him to find out specifically what controls he might be missing in the side suits. And there is no chance of him wanting to start roughing small cards in responder's hand. So let's give you a couple of examples just to illustrate what I mean there. Um, Okay, so if you look at that, that first example there, uh, opener's got a solid eight card spade suit, king, queen, jack of uh, hearts, the stiff ace of diamonds, and a singleton small club. Responder couldn't care whether, op uh, sorry, opener couldn't care whether responder's got any spades or not. The only things that they need to find out are has Responder got the Ace of Hearts? Have they got the Ace of Clubs? Or both, or neither. They've either got that or they haven't. And the answers to those questions will determine how many spades we end up playing this contract in. On the other hand, look at this collection. Okay, this is not a good hand for Zeta. You've now got seven solid spades rather than eight, but you've got a second four card heart suit. If partner doesn't have the queen jack of hearts, you've potentially got two losing hearts. Um, and so actually it does matter to you now that you can find out exactly what responders holding is in spades and potentially what their holding is in hearts. So you're much better off there using a low level beta and then uh, theta or iota or using alpha in spades and then following that up with uh, an iota in hearts. Obviously, what the positive response was in the first place will have a bearing on that. Obviously, there are some times when opener can make assumptions about responders holding. So, for example, if the bidding starts one club, one spade showing a balanced hand, then it would be much more likely that you might get a Zeta ask because now we know for certain 
that responds has got at least two of our trump suit and that may be sufficient for our purposes later on okay anybody got any questions about Zeta so far there is a bit more to cover with it but has anybody got any questions so far Alrighty, let's uh, give you an example hand here. Okay, so Zeta doesn't promise necessarily a massive hand, but here, responders, uh, sorry, openers' questions are fairly limited in terms of how many controls does North have? Have they got the Ace King of Spades? Have they got anything much in the minors? There is almost a zero chance that North is going to want to start roughing uh, anything in the minors. It's possible, obviously, but it's unlikely. So this is quite a good hand for Zeta. So this is effectively Beta now, asking about controls. So just using a normal scale because south strength is, is unknown. So we know that south has got four controls, so we're missing a king somewhere. So this can't be Relay Beta because we know exactly how many controls South has. So this must be Epsilon. Epsilon is now the only asking bid that we have available. Uh, epsilon and repeat Epsilon. So if you cast your mind back to the lesson on Epsilon, this is a repeat Epsilon now asking what kind of third round control uh, South has in diamonds. Might be King X, might be King Queen X, might be King Queen Stiff. So now South is showing exactly King Queen X. It can't be King Queen to four. It can't be King Queen stiff. It's exactly King Queen X in diamonds. And that's really all that North needs to know here. Because we know that either the King of Spades is missing or the King of Clubs is missing. But the Queen of Diamonds is going to take care of that loser. South must have the Ace of Spades, and they must have either the King of Clubs or the King of Spades. And either way, the Queen of Diamonds is going to take care of the one loser in the North Hand.
7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. Yes, you could bid 7 no trumps, especially at pairs. Um, wouldn't make any difference at teams, but it is arguably a little bit safer. There's not a huge chance of uh, an opening rough. But it's always possible. So yes, Barry, I agree. Seven no trumps. Yes, you could do, Sanya. I, I mean, the, the, the questions you're going to ask, having set spades as trumps, are quite limited. How many controls has partner got? Um, but you've only got six controls here. So you've potentially, if partner shows, say, yes, but again, You're right. Um, if partner hasn't got the king of diamonds, you might conceivably want to start roughing hearts. Sorry, king of hearts. You might conceivably want to start roughing hearts. And so now partner spades might be more of an issue on the other hand if they've got a singleton heart then the chances are they will have at least a couple of spades again not guaranteed but it's possible so yes you could use zeta on that it wouldn't work quite as well as the first hand that i explained and moreover you're going to have to redeal it because that hand has 14 cards so you'd better call the tournament director first, I think, Sanya. But say, give give opener a void club. <laughs> give opener a void club or only seven spades rather than eight spades. And yes, you could use it as Zeta, but I think I might be more likely not to. Because you've got quite a lot more questions that you potentially want to ask about the hand, including potentially uh, two epsilons in hearts, for example. Okay, anybody got any questions about that hand and the use of Zeta on that hand? Okay, let's turn our attention to Zeta when there has been some interference. And uh, you need to watch this fairly closely because it's easy to miss. One of the most common problems with, with Zeta is, is this kind of situation. Okay, so you may have seen, we haven't covered, dealt with interference over positive responses to one club yet not very often at all Ellie simple answer it's it's along with Delta it's one of the rarest asking bids Delta is very rare because it's such a strong hand that opener has to have and Zeta because it's a very specific kind of hand where there is almost no chance of opener wanting to rough anything in responder's hand. And they only have a very limited number of epsilons that they probably want to ask as a result. Okay, so as I said there, uh, we haven't dealt with interference yet. We start doing that next, the week after next rather. Next week is a practice tourney um, 
but you may have noticed in in a couple in some of the practice hands and so on that if we have interference immediately over a positive response to one club um, if responder has shown a suit then so supposing it goes one club no bid from ops uh, one heart from responder positive response in hearts and now fourth in hand over the one club comes in with two clubs for the sake of example okay um, or maybe one no trump yeah let's say one no trump okay um, then now pass by opener is gamma in hearts so so that kind of situation can give rise to specific places where we can actually have a zeta that isn't a jump shift for example in that sequence one club pass one heart one no trump overcall now pass would be gamma in hearts and double would be alpha in spades so now two spades what is that it can't be alpha because the double over one no trump is alpha in spades so two spades despite not being a jump shift is zeta in spades so here's an example okay so a similar example here absolutely I, I you know we we love interference if you play OCP you you will find out not next week like I said next week is a practice tourney but the three the three weeks after that are all dealing with interference in asking bid sequences and if you're serious about learning OCP those are absolutely essential uh, weeks to attend because uh, we really thrive on interference in OCP especially cheap interference we really love cheap interference because it ends up saving us buckets of bidding space potentially okay so if you have a look at that example uh, it's gone one club one heart and a one spade overcall so now pass here would be gamma in hearts and double would be alpha in the suit below the one spade overcall can't be in hearts because we've already taken care of a bit in hearts with the, the pass so double becomes alpha in diamonds so now if that's the case two diamonds is Zeta similar situation one club one spade overcall showing a balanced hand two diamonds now because responder hasn't shown a suit they've shown a balanced hand pass is a low level beta and double would be alpha in clubs so three clubs would become zeta I said before it's very common for people who are just getting to know zeta and the asking bids to get this wrong whether as responder or as opener um, you can just imagine in that last example three clubs being treated as alpha because both players have forgotten that uh, double would be alpha in clubs and so three clubs can't be alpha it's quite common for that to get forgotten by one or both members of a partnership um, so it's one just one to look out for it only happens when there's been some interference immediately over the positive response to one club uh, 
and that's one of the reasons why um, the week after next and the two weeks that follow it are such essential uh, material if you're serious about learning OCP. Okay, that's it for Zeta. Any questions? It's a it's a fairly easy one to learn. It's just a couple of little twizzles, like I've just mentioned there, that uh, introduce. But no, but sorry, it's it's in clubs. We're talking about clubs here, um, Sanya. If it's gone one club, one spade, two diamonds. Now pass is the low level beta, and double is alpha in clubs to suit below diamonds. Okay, so it's three clubs that is Zeta in clubs. Okay? If you wanted to bid Zeta in diamonds, you'd have to bid four diamonds. Literally. So if two diamonds was a psych, now four diamonds would be the only easy way to expose the psych. Could happen. So if you don't have that available, it's got to be a jump shift. Three diamonds over two diamonds would be a directional asking bit. And two hearts and two spades are simple alphas. Absolutely right. Okay. Anybody else got any questions about Zeta? Anybody else? The main, the main issue with Zeta, to be honest with you, is spotting the right hands where it's going to benefit you uh, and they are f far more infrequent than you might imagine okay let's move on have a look at eater So this is this is the last asking bit. We've now once we've done ETA, we've covered every single one. There are no more. Okay. Um, right. So ETA, in terms of the responses, works exactly like a length known gamma ask. If you cast your mind back to to the session on gamma, ETA is effectively a length known gamma. But we only use it when partner is known to have exactly a four card holding in the suit. So rather than confusing matters with having gamma appearing, length known gammas appearing in various situations, because eta is very often associated with uh, either situations where we've had a two club opening a two diamond response and a bid showing a four card major a bid at the three level in the other major is now eater or where we've had one no trump opening two club stamen and a bid showing a four card major again a bid in the other major at the three level is going to be ETA immediately in openers major. Um, and the other time is almost exclusively when either responder has uh, shown a positive 4441 response to one no trump, uh, to one club rather, or where opener has open two diamonds and uh, it ends up that responder ends up making an eater ask which is normally when responder has made a two-way transfer over the two diamond opening 
so because those length known gammas um, are in very specific situations um, we we actually created a separate asking a separate asking bid called ETA um, just because it made it easy to identify uh, exactly what the responses were going to be okay so there's the two two club sequences where we use ETA in the simple system um, and there are two very similar sequences where we've had one node trump and stamen and those are shown below almost without exception ETA is always used below game level there are I've mentioned the complex system before now there are a number of uh, other places in the complex system where ETA appears um, particularly over the uh, the complex one diamond opening um, there are some instances of ETA there but uh, we're not really concerned with the complex system at the moment so those are the two those are the two situations over intermediate openings where we can have an ETA ask So I mentioned the two diamond opening. Uh, if responder makes a two-way transfer, an opener shows a singleton in the transfer suit by bidding the next suit up over that. So supposing it goes two diamonds, three clubs, transfer to diamonds, and then opener bids three hearts to show a singleton diamond. Now... Um, three spades would be eater in spades because we know the opener's got a four card spade suit so it's that's a length known gamma that we call eater in spades eater is never available if it's the bidding starts two diamonds two hearts or two diamonds two spades uh, it just can't happen So I also mentioned uh, situations where a responder makes a positive response to one club that shows a 4441 hand. Um, now we have ETAs uh, almost as a matter of course um, because partners known to have 4441 and we normally certainly know two of the suits that they have uh, if not all three okay any questions so far about when a bid can be eater okay let's have a look at the responses to ETA okay so if you if you cast your mind back to the session on gamma uh, this will look very familiar except that we are definitely talking about a four card suit rather than a five card suit um, length known gammas are extremely rare in the simple system um, 
well, not extremely rare, but they are fairly rare. It's only over week twos where Responder starts using Gamma in Openers Major, and we now treat that normally as a length known Gamma with a, a, a known length of six cards. Or if we use Gamma over the two no Trump opening, where opener has shown both majors, we know they're exactly 5-5 five, five in the majors. So if we end up using Gamma, and there are sequences uh, where it's available, um, then that would be a length known Gamma, knowing that it's a five card suit. Almost without exception, all of the other instances where we have these kinds of responses are when it's Eater. Okay, so one step shows um, four small or four to the jack at best. Two step shows one top honor, one top honor in the jack, two top honors, two top honors in the jack, all three top honors. In theory, seven steps would show all three top honors and the jack. Uh, it's never happened that I'm aware of. Um, indeed, I can't actually remember Nice one, Barry. Um, you could just add another three onto there. I mean, it's a logical... If you get a seven-step response, you know what partner's got, especially if you've got four small. Um, in practice, I can't even remember ever witnessing, and I'm fairly certain I've never actually bid, a six-step response to Eater. Five steps, yes. So one to five steps... Um, are all fairly common. Six steps. I, I can't ever remember it. Um, seven steps has never happened that I'm aware of. Okay, very important. Uh, gamma, the mere use of Gamma sets that suit as trumps unless... Uh, the Gamma Asker immediately backs off by signing off in no trumps over the response. Um, in practice, Eater is even more specific in the sense that Eater always sets the truth as trumps. And um, because we're very often talking about 4-4 four, four or 5 four fits, um it's, I can't actually ever remember ETA being used where we might even conceivably have wanted to sign off in no trumps over the ETA response. Um, if you decide to use ETA, it's because uh, even if it's a minor suit that you're asking in, that you're definitely wanting to play in that suit as trumps. If you were more inclined to play in no trumps, the chances are that you would just not even bother with ETA, you would just bid no trumps. So ETA always sets the suit as trumps and it's very rare that uh, you back off in any way from that. Okay, so Relay Beta works just as normal. Um, In practice, I would I would almost ignore beta in the singleton suit. Effectively, the the advent of relay beta changed the situation of using beta in the short suit. It's still available, and and if uh, because relay beta is always available, even if short beta is also potentially available. Um, there are times when you might uh, use an epsilon first because that was the crucial thing to find out and then go back to short beta afterwards because it was still available. Um, that happens sometimes. Um, so you might make an epsilon of having used eta. You might then 
um, for reasons of brevity or economy, you might then make your epsilon ask first in a side suit and then go back to beta in the short suit later on. And that's fine. It's down to Asker to craft the asking bid sequence as they wish. Okay, any questions so far on ETA? Let me find you an example. It's only got one scale, Sanya. Eater only has one scale. The, there are a couple of exceptions. I agree. Um, you know, particularly over situations like one club, two no trumps. <laughs> yeah, there are a couple. But actually, the exceptions are mostly identical to each other. There are some situations where we perhaps know that partner is 4441. Uh, it's like that one club, two no trump response, which shows a minor shoot suit singleton. So we know they've got 4 4 in the majors. So if we, if we bid a major over one club, two no trumps, then that's going to be two in the major. We might, however, be two in a minor suit, but now we have an extra step in the scale that says oops sorry you've hit my singleton and responses above a two step and greater response are the normal eta scale so all of the responses are just bumped up by one step because you you've inserted that extra step to show a singleton in that suit in practice almost all of the exceptions to to beta that Sanya's talking about there are all the same as that. Okay. Right, where are we up to? Um, so we've had three clubs. So we know we know that East has four card spades because they've got a singleton diamond and they're four 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 one. So this is Eater. So that sets spades as trumps, 100%. So it doesn't matter whether you call this short beta or relay beta in practice uh, I would call it relay beta because the fact that it's the short suit is entirely incidental it just happens to be the relay over the positive or over the response to eta Okay, so here uh, we have relay beta over four clubs. 
a response that showed three controls, an epsilon in hearts, um, because we need to find out whether Parton's got the king of um, hearts or maybe they've got the ace king of clubs instead. Not that, that really matters ultimately, but it's just useful to know. And when partner bids six diamonds, now we really must be in seven spades because uh, we know we only need to rough one heart in the west hand and the queen of hearts is going to take care of one losing club, uh, sorry, one losing diamond. So we only need to rough two diamonds in the east hand. And knowing we've got a 10 card trump fit, uh, that's odds on. So now we want to be in seven spades. Let's find a. Okay, but it wouldn't go like that. Okay, if if uh, responder had a singleton club, they'd be bidding three spades over one club to show 11 plus with four, 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 one singleton club. That would be three, a three spade response. Um, so now we would have uh, a rare example of eater at game level, four spades. But it would potentially, well, no, in practice, you'd always treat that as eater. Um, where responders 11 plus. Okay, we haven't definitely established slam values, but you're never going to treat that as a sign off. So one club, three spades, four spades. Now you get a response of uh, five clubs. And now five diamonds would still be relay beta, even though it's not in the singleton suit, because it's relay beta. Four spades here. Um, was eta and effectively set the suit as trumps. So a relay over the response where we've agreed an asking bid via, ask, sorry, agreed a suit via asking bids is always really relay beta standard rule for asking bits. Um, so now five diamonds would be relay beta. That would get a response of five spades. Um, and now to be honest with you, I think uh, you would still just bid seven spades, even though you haven't really got the room to make a sensible epsilon in hearts. I think you would just chance it. Um, there's too good a chance of being able to rough three diamonds, sorry, three clubs if, if West has got ace king to six, ace x, singleton, ace to four clubs. Too good a chance of being able to rough three rounds of clubs in the east hand even if they don't have a winner. And bear in mind that when they've got three controls, um, we know that the king of diamonds is, the, the, the king in their singleton is missing, whether it's diamonds or clubs. Really, the epsilon in hearts is window dressing to some extent. Uh, we know they've got 11 points. Uh, we know we don't 
have any wasted uh, cards in the suit where they've got a singleton, whether it's diamonds or clubs. Uh, and I think you would just, even if you ran out of room to make a sensible uh, epsilon in hearts, you would still just bid seven spades. Okay, Sanya. Don't sell yourself short, Sanya. It will come eventually. Okay, so... Okay, there is actually a rule in terms of whether we use beta in the singleton suit or relay beta, and it's this. That if the known singleton is the relay suit, as it was here, then it's immaterial. That's always going to be beta. But also, if the next suit up over that is the singleton suit, we would tend to use short beta any other time we're using relay beta. Okay? So, um, if the next suit up or the suit above that is the singleton suit, the known singleton suit, then we would tend to use short beta, even if we call it relay beta, if it's the next suit up. If it's the next suit up but one, we would tend to use that as beta by bidding the short suit, and anything else is going to be epsilon. But any other time, we use relay beta in the next suit up. Okay, so in in the instances over intermediate openings where we end up using ETA, uh, then we haven't been describing four 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 one hands, so it's always relay beta. So if it's gone two clubs, two diamonds, two hearts, or two clubs, two diamonds, two spades, and we get an ETA ask, then it's relay beta over that because we're always asking about a major and. So we've, we've always agreed a major. So even three no trumps could be relay beta in those circumstances. Okay. So no such thing as a repeat eater in a four card suit um, because it's a length known gamma we always know whether partner has the jack or not if they've shown at least one top honor there isn't scope for a repeat eater over a one step eater response where partner's shown four small to find out whether they have the jack There might be instances where that would be useful, um, but in practice you're always running into problems of space and ambiguity because you're very often going to be at game level. So we just don't do it. Okay, if you look at that last one, and you might remember this from the, the session on Epsilon. So if we've used uh, Eta, where Teller is known to be 4441 shape, and we already know about how many controls 
responder has, maybe we've used relay beta and got a specific number of controls, there is scope for an epsilon in the known singleton suit. But that was covered um, on the session on epsilon. I don't propose to go over it again to find out what kind of singleton um, responder had. Okay, there are other effects on epsilon where we know that partners have got 4441 shape and we know their exact shape. Basically, repeat epsilons go out of the window apart from possession of the jack because we know the, there is a rule in, in the notes on epsilon that where we know partners got a suit, then uh, if they've shown a particular number of or degree of control in response to an initial epsilon, that any repeat epsilon, because we know they've got a suit already, it can't be a shortage, if we know it's got to be a suit, whether it's four cards or more, then any repeat epsilon is solely relating to possession of the jack. So if you're unsure of that, go and have a look at the rules on Epsilon because it's all there. So let's have a look at a quick example of that. So if you follow this sequence, um, we've got one club, two spades showing 8 to 11 points, 4, 4, 4, 1 shape. Uh, three diamonds. Because, because three hearts is beta. If you look at the rules that I just explained, Nuri, okay? Two hearts shows a singleton heart. Four card spades, four card diamonds, four card clubs. So two spades is eater, gets a three club response, and now the known singleton suit is either the next bid up or the bid above that. So we use short beta in those circumstances. So three hearts is beta and three diamonds would be epsilon. Because it's a more efficient use of space. Okay. If we knew the partner had a spade singleton, then three diamonds would be relay beta. Because short beta in the single, known singleton suit would just be too expensive where the response was three clubs to the initial eater. Okay? You follow, Nuri? Okay, so here we had one club, two spades, three diamonds, eater in diamonds, Two spades showed a singleton spade. So three diamonds is eater. Three spades showed four to one top honor without the jack. So now four hearts would be epsilon in hearts. Four no chump shows third round control. Five hearts is a repeat epsilon. Because we know that partners got four card hearts the repeat epsilon is solely interested in whether responder has the jack of hearts or not so five spades would deny having the jack and five diamonds five no trumps would promise having the jack okay anybody else got any questions about ETA any questions at all because that's basically uh, the end of the teaching part of this. So if you've got any questions about ETA, 
or Zeta, ask them now. Pretty please. Okay, excellent. In that case, can I please have four volunteers to sit and play a few hands? Just so that we can uh, hammer home what we've covered on Zeta and Eta tonight. Don't be shy and, and don't be slow. We've got a nice 50 minutes, but if I can get through some of these hands sooner, I might finish early because I'm up in, uh, for work in seven hours' time and I could do with getting as early night as possible. Come on, three more, please. Guys, don't, uh, don't be shy. Just jump in. The way to really hammer these lessons home is to sit and play. Thank you, Sanya. And Roger, thank you very much. Any more? Oh, and one more. No, you won't, Sanya. You, you do yourself down. You're like my wife. She's always talking herself down. From what I've seen, um, you do quite well. Thank you, Malcolm. Okay. Just let me uh, just set the convention cards. Um, Okay. Right, let's have a few hands. So do have a think about whether what you're bidding here. And whether Zeta is an appropriate bid or Eta or whatever. Yeah. Say again, Amy. Yeah, in a minute. Just give us two minutes, Amy. Good man. Glad to see somebody was paying attention, Malcolm. I think last year somebody bid two spades on this hand. You there, Roger? Well, I tell you what, I'm just going to make a cup of coffee. I'll leave you guys bidding this. Because it looks like... I will not share with you what Naomi just informed me of. Right, guys, I'll be back in a couple of minutes.
Yes, you can, Roger. Okay, so one spade was alpha. One no trump showed no support, not to three controls. Malcolm wisely uses iota in diamonds because he was paying attention in the session on theta in iota. And no doubt, hopefully remembers that if he uses iota in diamonds, he can go back to a theta in spades if he wants. <coughs> There's lots of different ways that this hand could be bid. This is one of them. So the two spade response shows a doubleton top honor or three small in uh, diamonds. In practice, because we know that, oh no, we don't know, sorry, we don't know how many controls West has. We just know that they've got naught to three. So it could actually be either. So now Malcolm might as well go back to spades. He's certainly not going to want to play in hearts. And so now he might as well use theta in spades. Because that was the whole point in asking in diamonds first so that that would then be available. So this is theta. And if you remember, a response that shows doubleton top honor or three small agrees the suit. I think it needs to be four diamonds, actually, Roger. This is theta, not iota. So four clubs would actually show a singleton top honor or two small. Four diamonds shows a doubleton top honor or three small. What have I got to tell you, Sanya? Oh, that, right, no. Definitely not for sharing. You're all too young. I will not. I will not.
Okay, so four diamonds agree spades as trumps because it's a, a holding that shows, it's a response that shows a doubleton top honor or three small. In practice, Roger can't have more than that unless they've got two top honors doubleton, which is impossible. Otherwise, they would have agreed spades in the first place. So now, four hearts is relay beta. Because we don't yet know how many controls West has. We know they got naught to three. So four hearts is relay beta using the weak scale. I'm glad you took the hint, Malcolm. Thank you. <laughs> it was about as subtle as a, a bull a bull in the china shop that wasn't it okay so five diamonds is four step response showing three controls exactly and to all intents and purposes that's actually enough now for east's purposes Why is it not quite, Malcolm? Because we know East has eight controls. Very strong hand. East has eight controls. And we know that West has got three, which means we're only missing one king. So we're either missing the king of clubs or we're missing the king of hearts. We are definitely not missing the Ace of Diamonds. Indeed. It's Elliot's, okay, uh, I'll just explain that again. Okay, when partner is known to be naught to 10, or when we know that they have naught to three controls, then we use the weak beta scale. Or the special weak scale, depending on the exact sequence, okay? So here, the response to one spades alpha was one no trump, which shows Don't forget the use of the mere use of alpha always affects the scale used in a subsequent beta. And it can affect the availability of beta. So here, one no trump shows no good spade support and naught to three controls. That's what the alpha response shows. So now we know that responder is naught to three controls. So any subsequent beta is going to use the weak beta scale. Okay, Ellie. It doesn't matter that Responder has made a positive response. Okay, we don't know whether they're 0 to 10 or more, because they're not a passed hand. But we do know that they've got 0 to 3 controls because of the alpha response. Therefore, the... Uh, the beta later on is using the weak beta scale. Uh, 
Okay, well done. Now in practice, over a slightly different sequence, I suppose you might have tried to get in an epsilon in diamonds just to check that West didn't have ace XX. But in practice, you would have to or potentially have to ask twice in diamonds and here East can just tell there's no way so they just have to take a chance but when West has shown up with five hearts and three spades um, there is a reduced probability that West is going to have more than two diamonds obviously they might do they might only have five card hearts and ace to three diamonds. And now you're going to be reliant. A repeat delta. Uh, we're not on delta here, Barry. This is eta or in this case it was theta okay I, I did say that there were more there was more than one way of bidding this hand the other way of course over one heart is to bid is to bid one no trump low level beta that would get a response of uh, two diamonds and now two spades would be theta and you could get them all in. That's actually probably how I would bid this hand. Is actually with a low level beta. Um, the main reason is. That East is so strong in controls. They got eight controls. That actually the likelihood of not being able to make a two spades theta ask is very small in fact it's impossible if you think about it if it starts one club one heart one no trump two clubs would show not two controls two diamonds would show three controls two hearts would show four controls and it's impossible for West to have five controls so East knows that they're always going to be able to ask in spades a theta ask in spades at the two level that's why I would use a low level beta here but there's nothing wrong in using alpha you still get there Anybody got in quest any questions? Have we had a claim on, on this hand already? Yes, he could. But it's not it's not a hand it's not a hand really that would be attractive for that. Um, if uh, perhaps give East Ace X in hearts and only three diamonds and that might be more attractive they might agree hearts and then jump shift back into space later on um, here with a singleton heart it's there's no really attract, attractive alternative to agreeing something else like hearts because there's absolutely no way East is ever going to be interested in hearts and it's not it's there's not enough of a saving in terms of space to make it a sensible option okay anybody got any other questions about this hand okay right let's uh, find another one 
so well spotted Malcolm that uh, that was not a hand on which you want to use Zeta because of the king to four diamonds too big too big a possibility that East might want to rough some diamonds in the west hand and therefore it does matter how many trumps if any west has With pleasure, Sonia. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, that's like my excuse that the parrot's always kibitzing. Okay, so three hearts is Zeta in hearts. Back in a minute, guys. Start peeing half the night. No, not caffeine. Just drinking anything late on. Right, how are we doing here? Sorry? Who knows? Okay, so three hearts with Zeta. Four club shows four controls. Barry showing his mastery here by asking his Epsilon in spades. Very nicely done, guys.
Okay, we know four controls in the north hand. That's got to be two aces. Can't be anything else because south has three kings. Therefore, if uh, north has the ace of spades, then the limit of the hand is six. But if they don't have the ace of spades, they must have the ace of diamonds and the ace of clubs. And so now we can bid seven hearts in confidence. Note that it's impossible for North to have the stiff ace of spades. Theoretically, it's possible, but in practice, it can't happen because they bid one spade in response to one club, so they can't have a stiff ace. Very nicely done, uh, Barry and Sanya. Anybody got any questions here? <laughs> Indeed. Okay, anybody else got any questions or comments? Well done. Let's have a look at a few more. Nah. <laughs> I'm sure you can cope with the pressure, Barry. Okay, so two no trumps is eight to eleven, four 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 one, with a singleton in them in one of the minor suits. Don't forget to alert, guys. Alert manually, please. It will ultimately will help you as well as helping everybody else. So three spades is eater in spades. Because we know that South has got exactly a four card spade suit. So here we don't know where South Singleton is. So the issue of which is short beta and whether we use short beta or relay beta just doesn't arise because we don't know where their singleton is. So it's always a matter of four diamonds being relay beta. Hint, hint, Sanya. How is it a guess, Sanya? I've just told you what it is. <laughs> oh, dear. Okay, so four diamonds with relay beta, four spades shows three controls. No, it doesn't. 
You need to undo that, Barry. You've fallen from grace. Why is that? cast your mind back to the initial uh, session on one club where responder shows an 8 to 11 4 4 4 1 hand for the sake of one point we treat them as 0 to 10 so here we are using the weak beta scale So this will need to be a five club response, Barry. Okay, so three controls in the south hand. Yes, indeed. So what do you and don't you know about the hand, Sanya? Well, okay. Indeed. So the question is, which one? So an epsilon in diamonds. Uh, not quite, Barry. That's a dent in the new car. Never mind a scratch. Six hearts would show first and third round control. Indeed. Okay, well done, guys. Uh, if we can just have a claim so that everybody can see the hand. I do have one comment here. A slight niggle. I think Sanya could actually bid five spades over five hearts. Because... Five hearts over five diamonds is either first and second round control or it's no control. So it is possible that 
Uh, hang on. Yeah, that, sorry. That um, South might have ace to four hearts, four small diamonds, and a singleton club. There's actually nothing in the bidding sequence that's denied that possibility. So I think it would have been better a better sequence would have been north north bidding five spades over five hearts and relying on south to think aha that obviously turned my five heart response turned north away from a slam here because he certainly looked like he was heading towards a slam but the five heart response he's obviously worried about me having no control in hearts. In fact, I've got first and second. And so south would then bid six spades over five spades to say it's a singleton ace, not three small. You do it by bidding five spades, Sanya. And effectively, you aren't happy with his, with his response to five diamonds. Because he could have four small diamonds. So you might be off three tricks off the top here in diamonds. You might already... Exactly. But you, you don't want to be going an extra one down if that's the case. But this, the meaning of that sequence is clearly that because five hearts is an ambiguous response, it could be no control, it could be first and second that clearly North is worried about South not having any kind of diamond control, but actually South has first and second round control. That's a clear, clear inference from that sequence. And so South North would sign off in five spades, relying on partner to think on their feet and bid six spades over five spades when they actually have first and second round control of diamonds. Okay. Everybody follow the logic there. Anybody struggling with that? Okay, guys, if you don't mind, I'm going to leave it there because I'm falling asleep fast. <laughs>